A super quick announcement at the start of the video. The quality of the recording isn't what I'd like in places. My poor old laptop was struggling with this one. I considered scrapping the whole thing, but hey, perhaps it's just proof that when you try something new, it doesn't always go to plan. I hope you enjoy it all the same. You know what my favourite thing to do on a day out or holiday somewhere is? It's to go to a museum! However, for reasons... I haven't been able to go to a museum in a long time, and I'm a bit sad about that. However, what cruel nature has deprived from me the fruits of modern science shall provide. Um, I aim to create a virtual reality museum that I can visit so I'm going to be using Mozilla Hubs, which is a kind of virtual chat room um, website. You can uh, quickly hop on into a virtual environment and interact with people and share things. However, you can also create an environment. And see, at first I thought, right, museum, so I'm going to need like a big, blank, uh, really antiseptic looking room. But actually those are my least favourite kinds of museums. So my museum is going to be in a catacomb. Here it is. It's the catacomb museum. Now I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I feel like it should have a theme to it. Um, now the other thing I've got lined up is the fabulous Sketchfab, uh, which is a website that hosts 3D models has a number of partnerships with museums who've um, put over their, their materials as just free to use, free to do, whatever you like with. Um, it's on a, a Creative Commons zero license, which, I mean, I deal with Creative Commons stuff a lot. I've hardly ever come across, um, you know, it's not even wanting attribution, which is brilliant. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have fun looking through these. Uh, I think we should start with a... I know, I, I still don't know what the theme is going to be. That's my problem at the moment. But I'm just going to start and hope that some good idea presents itself. I'd really like to start with like a, an opening welcome video here. Five minutes later. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yes. This is what... When I was a little girl, and I used to think about the fact that in the future there would probably be virtual reality goggles, this is exactly what I wanted out of them. That is uh, a cat riding a tortoise. So I think what this has to be is the catacomb of cuteness. It has to be the catacomb of cuteness. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through some of these models and just see if there's anything that fits in like that I would describe as cute. Oh now that that's no, instant yes that has to be in oh, what's it going to tell us about this? Oh look oh it's an Inuit uh is it scrimshaw or it's, it's sort of bone carving? Yeah, I think it's made of walrus. It's walrus. Walrus strand. Walrus stand. Is it walrus tusk? Walrus bone? That's, that's got to go in there. Look at that. Definitely, definitely quite cute. There. There. I mean, perhaps not the cutest now I see it in real life, but you know, it's trying. Let's find something else. Okay, University of Dundee. Oh, this is looking quite promising. What are these? Okay, looks like we've got a zoology museum. Wow. Glass model of a sea butter. Oh, look at this moon jellyfish. I don't know if any of these are going to beat the moon jellyfish. 
Emperor Penguin. But it is a dead one. Prairie, mm, prairie. <laughs> No, that's not cute. Ah, oh, no, that's that's yeah. No, we've got to we've got to have that. It can uh, it can hang from the ceiling. Wow, a lot of these look surprisingly less cute when you're encountering them in the middle of a strange catacomb. Funnily enough, probably should have seen that coming. Oh, I thought of something else I really want to add. I did create some models myself, and I think I should upload some of those. This is cute. The sad snot monster. He's cute. Let's add, let's add the sad snot monster. I have a feeling he might be gigantic, though. There he- whoa! There he is! I call him the sad snot monster. He's- I mean- he is cute. Surely he's cute. Look at him. Look at his little face. I wish I can make him a bit bigger. There. Now, I've got to admit, I'm not knocking the jellyfish, the weird polar bear, and the snot monster, but I don't think we found our kind of signature cute thing yet. None of this really screams cute at me, so I'm going to keep looking. Okay, so the cable centre. Here we go, Burger King man. A promotional item. Okay. Well, that, that is genuinely incredibly cute. Look at it. You probably wind it up and it it walks. Is he about? Is he about there? I think he's tilted back slightly. Yes. Yes. Okay, now I noticed a thing here that said spotlight. Now perhaps, perhaps if I can put a spotlight on some of these things it'll uh, it'll make them seem less creepy because they'll uh, be nicely illuminated or it'll make them look even more disturbing yeah see the problem now is there's just an eerie light kind of emanating from Burger King man um, with no obvious source which is slightly spooky uh, but I, I'm going to keep going. I'm sure if we just find more cute items. I think that's what this is missing. State Darwin Museum. Come on. Uh, Got to give some, have some little finches or... <gasps> yes. Yes! Oh my goodness. This is... <gasps> this is the cutest one. Okay, so courtesy of the Darwin Museum, I have added this adorable bird here, this very cute dog here, and this tiny crab. Now I realised if I made the crab huge then it wasn't cute, but if I make it small, perhaps I should make it even smaller. Now I know what you're thinking, is that actually a dead stuffed dog uh, which may negate its cuteness? I don't know, I really don't know, but it's a... Uh, it probably is, let's face it, but um, but I mean, up until this point, we were doing so disastrously, I I'm sure it's raised our cuteness factor slightly. Like, it's better than this. I mean, that is made of dead walrus. We know that for sure. Whereas this one, it's ambiguous, you know? It could just be a model. Um, I think I'm going to keep keep looking. Um, panel for a cabinet. I mean, that's, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, okay, that, that... Oh look, it's got a tiny one on top! Chinese tiny elephants. I, oh, I think this is, this could be our first real winner that's really gonna, it's really gonna increase the, um, the cuteness factor of the whole, the whole affair, really. There we go. Cute little elephants. So, don't get me wrong. It's it's lovely. This isn't a knock against 
ring-tailed lemurs, all their skulls, but I feel like if if we're relying on this to be the epitome of cuteness, we're really kind of scraping the barrel a little bit. Hmm, never mind. So this is the Egyptian god Thoth. Um, I do think he's very sweet, look at his little smile. Um, my slight problem with him is, I think there's there's something about him that if I make him gigantic and put him in the middle of the room, it's going to distract a little bit from the kind of cute and innocent um, air that I've got going on. And I can't really say what the problem is without YouTube being annoyed with me. Um, and I don't even know if I can show you what the problem is without YouTube being annoyed with me, but let's just say I've cropped off the bottom of the screen here very carefully. So before long, the catacomb of cuteness was complete, and it was time for me to step forth into a new virtual world. All right, here we go. Um, okay, first impressions, it's really bright. Um, it looks like there isn't the kind of lighting scheme. That's okay though, I think that just makes it, um, frankly, less terrifying. Um, wow, okay. What's up here? Invite. This is genuinely... Um, so this is the first time I've been in a 3D environment in this uh, program in Mozilla Hubs. It's one of the first times I've frankly even used this um, headset. I only got it two days ago um, and I've mostly been playing Beat Saber. So, um, oh, oh, okay, so, oh, 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 okay, um, this is probably a time I should mention, uh, I do have, like, terrible motion sick, oh, 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 motion sickness, perhaps if I just go really slowly, oh, okay, so we've got that, the video doesn't seem to be working, which, hmm, that's a shame. Uh, I don't know if that's my fault or um, whether YouTube videos aren't supported or something, but that's okay. That that video produced music that I think will copyright claim me anyway. Oh, my my hands are green. Oh, my hand. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, oh, now I should probably mention I did have to get rid of some items because I'd added, I just added so many things. Um, the file was actually just too large uh, for Mozilla Hubs to accept it. So I am sorry, there are some things, like the walrus is gone. I kept Burger King Man. I've tried to make up for it by adding more GIFs um, of cute animals. So yeah, there's, there's my book. Whoa. There's my boy Burger King man. I don't know if I can... Oh! Okay. I can like see another view of him. It... Okay. Oh, that's really disorientating. I don't like that. <laughs> I can't, I can't... Oh. oh, no. Um, that's my little cat friend. Uh, what else? Pen. Can I pet? Can I draw? Oh, no. Oh. Can I pick this up? Can I, oh. 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 No. <laughs> I probably should have looked up um, how to do this stuff first. I was hoping I could just scrawl all over the walls like I was here. Um, no, you know, I think I've, I think I've just created two floating pens that will just be in the museum forevermore. Uh, right, now can I, whoop, there we go, can I, this is the dog. He's looking great. I'm quite pleased with the dog. Uh, I got rid of the tiny crab. It was, it was just, oh, little pooch. There we go. Yeah, I got rid of the tiny crab. Um, camera. I can take a picture of myself. Oh, that's me! Oh, can I see that picture now? Oh, oh, there it is. That's a picture of me. Oh, oh no, that's uh, that's a picture of me. There we go. 
<laughs> it's like a souvenir from the museum, from the uh, catacomb. Of what else have we got? Oh, we've got good old um, snot monster here. He's being read this really cartoony way that possibly makes him less cute, actually. Uh, there's this area that you can't can't look in because it's out of bounds and I kept this elephant I got rid of the little Nima skull again it was just um, the file size on some of these is just huge um, can I give a thumbs up let's see um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I think that's as good as we're gonna get thumbs up bye if you'd like to see more videos about technology, art and weird history things, then why not subscribe to this channel? You can also find a link to my Patreon in the video description. I'm releasing bonus content there. The bonus for this video features me exploring Anne Frank's house in virtual reality. Anyway, see you next time!